and having a good giggle because it's time for our entertainment news. Juliana Ranzek, what's happening? Ah, Juliana, <laughs> well, from Hollywood to Mzanziwood, it's time to find out what's entertaining, uh, of course, here right on home uh, ground. Now, organizers of the Miss South Africa pageant say they are standing by their decision. And what decision is this? Well, they've decided to ban three of the finalists because they have tattoos. Ooh. You know, yes. my, my big thing with this is surely through the process of selecting these girls. I mean, we've both been involved with the Miss SA process. It is oh, months so of campaigning. Mm. There are regional semi-finals. Yes. There are swimsuits involved. Do they not know about the tattoos? And is it not part of that, that judging criteria? Do they not let the ladies know, listen, you are not allowed to yeah. enter if you have a tattoo. You see, the problem is, uh, some of the first stages, they have clothes on. Okay. Until they need to parade for the judges, because that's what happens in the process, and they wear bikinis. Yeah. So I think it happened during that time, although I have to say, it's a competition. It is a competition. If they change yeah. the rules, or if they even want to disqualify you because you have a tattoo, I think they have the right to do so. But this is also one of the competition stipulations. You are not allowed to have any tattoos. You are not allowed to be married. You, you could not have had an annulment. Oh, you can't you be pregnant. You can't have given birth. Those are stipulations <laughs> I'd be for the competition. <laughs> so if you, knowing that yeah. you have something, but it's on your ankle and you decide to not like Disclose reveal it. that, yeah, there was no, only sure. one girl that disclosed the fact that she had a visible tattoo. The other two didn't. So what do you think? Will you let us know on our mm. Facebook page? Do you think that it's fair that they were disqualified on account of having tattoos? Because they're gorgeous girls. They yeah. are beautiful they're girls. Beautiful. And who knows what, what kind of talents were there, what potential. Wow. I know Claudia Henkel. Um, did have a tattoo that she managed to keep hidden that she's come oh. out post saying dun, that dun, she did, dun. I think, in solidarity for the girls. But we live in an era of yeah, tattoos, you're not gonna go you know? Anywhere, buddy. Um, no so Mrs. sadly, Mrs. SA is out of the... <laughs> no, like, but having said that, me, you know what? The girls have to represent as an ambassador for South Africa. If yeah. they decide, as the rules of the competition, that the ambassador shouldn't have a tattoo, then she shouldn't have a tattoo. Yeah. Also, they're very young. Girls shouldn't have tattoos. I suppose the, the, yeah. the lesson learned here is, you know, if you're going to enter a competition like this, do it w with full disclosure. Make yeah. sure you're not hiding anything, exactly. but not taking anything away from the disappointment of the young ladies. Yeah. I know how much, and you would know this as well, how much is invested in that Definitely. Miss SA process. Well, there's so sorry, always girls. Next year, girls, laser touch around. <laughs> don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> well, don't do it to start off with, but hey, there's lots more happening. Music, Oh, huh? man, what a beautiful day. Yesterday, I had the opportunity of meeting one of I'm very the jealous. ultimate rock legends. Oh. Of course, the kings of chaos are in town. They're performing tonight in Cape Town. Um, a stellar class made up of guys from, um, we've got Guns N' Roses represented, Aerosmith represented, and ZZ Top, one of the ultimate rock legends. Um, Billy Gibbons one of the front men of ZZ Top was willing to give us a little bit of a timeout. What a legend. Take a look.